The ambiguous case to solutions is a concept that some students have a hard time understanding, but it's one in which it's very important because there are going to be situations when you are given a side, another side, and an angle such that sometimes you can build two triangles from it. So in other words, to solve the triangle, sometimes it involves two solutions. So to get us prepared for this mini lesson, let me pull this slide down for you. We're going to be given acute angle A, the side length that we're going to call C, and another side length that we're going to call A. So you can see that what we're actually given is an acute angle measurement and the side length opposite that angle. And then you're also given another side length. So to begin this process, we first have to understand that we can't even build a triangle unless side A, in this case, is longer than the height. So I'm going to go ahead and draw an altitude. Of course, when you create an altitude, you create a right angle. And we're going to denote that by using H to represent the height. And so first of all, one of the first things that you check is to make sure that the length of the side that's opposite your angle is actually longer than the height. And if it is, you know you're going to have one triangle. Well, in this case, it is. Thus, A is greater than H. So we know we're going to be able to get one triangle. But at the same time, there could be another case scenario. So let's at least go through this step by step. First of all, when side A is connected, you do create angle C. Now, this angle would be calculated by using the law of sines because we were given the measurement of angle A and the measurement of the side length of A, and we were also given the measure of the side length of C. So we could go ahead and set up the law of sines and find out how large angle C is supposed to be. But the problem is this, and here's the other case scenario you have to always consider, and that is since we already know A is greater than H, which means we can have one triangle, what about considering the fact that the side length that they did give you is actually smaller than the other side length? So in other words, this side length that's opposite your given angle, your given acute angle, is it actually smaller than the other side? And if that's the case, then you can create a second possible triangle, which you will then solve for. So let me show you how this is done. First of all, what you're seeing in the video right now with this particular triangle shape will work. But also, what if I were to create side A in this fashion? In other words, this is also a. In other words, these two sides are still the same length. They are congruent. But at the same time, look at the triangular shape that I have created for my second triangle. And so here it's outlined for you. And this becomes a second possibility for the triangle. And at this point, how would you calculate or how would you know that angle measurement that's opposite side C. So we're going to call this C sub 1. Now let's look at how we're actually going to find the measurement of C sub 1. Well, as you can see in this triangle, this is an isosceles triangle because we know that these two side lengths are A. They're the distance of A. And when you have an isosceles triangle, then the base angles are congruent. And because these two angles 
form a linear pair, then you would know the length of C sub 1, the de degree measurement of C sub 1, simply by finding the supplement. So that would be 180 then minus the measurement of angle C. And thus, once you then realize what the angle measurement for C sub 1 is, you can then continue to do the law of sines and find out your new angle B and your new side for B, little b. So in this case, the ambiguous case, two solutions in which you're given two sides and an angle, I hope this has helped you to kind of see that you really can build two triangles if and only if now this happens to be true, which is that the side that's opposite the angle that they gave you is larger than the height, which means that you can create a triangle. But at the same time, it's also smaller than the other side that's given.